Every spring at this time, I like to bring a reminder to those cow-calf producers here in Oklahoma that are using artificial insemination uh, for the cows or replacement heifers. And this is especially important for any of those that might be using AI for the very first time. And that is to go through what I consider the realistic expectations of what to look for in terms of an outcome of an artificial insemination program. I'm going to introduce you to three terms that are, are important that we understand so that we have a better idea of what to expect and perhaps an idea then of if we have dis disappointing results, what areas we might look to to improve in the future. The, the first term I want to talk about is what I call estrus response. And what that refers to is just the percentage of cows that we're trying to put in an AI program, the percentage that would respond to the estrus synchronization program that we choose, or the percentage that if we choose to try to breed on heat detection, the percentage that we actually correctly identify as being in standing heat and bring them in and do the AI. Then of those that we actually detect or respond to our ester synchronization program, what's the percentage of those that we inseminate that conceive to that insemination? And that's called the AI conception rate. Really good, talented AI technicians expect to get about 70% of those that they inseminate to actually conceive. Our estrus response, or the percentage that actually respond to the synchronization, may be around 80%. Then of that 80, what percentage of those actually conceived? And like we say, in a good AI program, 70% of those 80 would actually conceive. So if you multiply those two things together, then you would see that what you'd end up with is 56% of the cows that you started with actually conceiving and becoming pregnant to the artificial insemination program. So I think you want to keep that in mind as realistic expectations of what you should look for as an outcome of a good AI program. The next question that will show up then is how many cleanup bulls do I need to put in with those cows after we've done our AI program and still we want to make sure the rest of those cows have a chance to get bred. Well, the, the data is pretty clear on that, that we probably need to expect to put in about one bull for every 50 cows that we started with in this AI project. Because half of those uh, in most situations should have been bred to AI, which leaves only about 25 cows per bull that he still needs to uh, find and impregnate so that we have a real high total pregnancy rate at the end of the breeding season. We think if you have a better understanding of what goes into the different steps of an AI program, you'll have more realistic expectations and have a better chance to have a real successful breeding program, not only this spring, but in future springs as well. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.